Hello, today I am talking about an interesting topic. I'm sure if you are into cars and mechanics and you like to spend most of your free time working on your car you have heard or read about doing certain things that can end up damaging your car and today I'm talking about one of them. We all have heard the tightening suspension bushing bolts while the car is in the air or it's not back on its tires yet. Can damage the bushings and any experienced mechanic or car enthusiast will bring the car back on its tires before tightening them when he is working on the suspensions. But why? What is the difference between tightening them on the ground at ride height or when it's jacked up? In the end, it's just a bolt that needs to be tightened. Right? Well not exactly. Doing so will, in fact, damage your car's suspension system. But why? Now to answer that, I have made this 3D model of a basic suspension lower control arm. Typically we have bushing in the lower, upper control arms and struts but for simplicity, we are gonna focus on only the lower control arms today. So let's start by talking about the bushing itself. Mostly a bushing is a simple dampening joint that is used to connect two parts of the suspension system together. In case of the lower control arm, it's used to connect it to the main body or the subframe of the car. It's as simple as two steel tubes with an elastic material between them, mostly rubber or polyurethane, in most cars it's replaceable. But for doing it you're gonna need a press because in most cars it's pressed into the control arm. Now, when it's pressed into the control arm, the outer tube of the bushing will bind to the inner tube of the control arm, making a permanent and strong binding between them. So the bushing inside the control arm cannot rotate or move, they are fixed together, and it will rotate with the control arm. After that normally the control arm with the bushing pressed into it is connected to the subframe of the car with a bolt. And this is the time where they say don't tighten the bot all the way yet, because you will damage the bushing and here is why. As you notice the inner tube of the bushing is what is supposed to make contact with the subframe and hold the weight of the car. But when you tighten the bolt all the way before lowering the car to the ground the gap between the inner tube of the bushing and the subframe is closed and they bind together. So now the inner tube also is fixed relative to the subframe and can't rotate or move. In the end, this binding of the two tubes of the bushing is necessary for obvious reasons. With them fixed the rubber or the polyurethane layer between them can do its job properly and dampen the vibrations. Until now everything is okay but your car is still in the air which means the wheels are not in their right height and when you are done. You will lower your car on the jack thinking everything is okay. But as you lower the car the lower arm will be pushed up back to the right height position. And that is what causing the problem. You see your car is 95% or even I can say 98% of the time at its ride height position and that means your bushings are now mostly outside their safe working zone. How? Let's see. The suspension is now in a lower position this is how it will look when the car is in the air on a lift or a jack. You will tighten the bolt to the specified torque without knowing, and lower the car back to the ground so this will happen. Notice the arrows when I'm bringing the control arm to its right height. The red arrow is connected to the control arm, which means it rotates with it. And the blue arrow is connected to the inner tube of the bushing which is by its turn is squeezed by the bolt to the subframe which means it is fixed and can't rotate. Now let's lower the car. Notice when the car is lowered the control arm will rise which means it will rotate along its axis, in this case, the axis is the bolt connecting it to the subframe. But let's not forget the inner tube of the bushing also can't rotate because it's fixed with the bolt squeezing on it to the subframe. So the twisting is happening in the rubble layer of the bushing and without you knowing a week or two later, with all the rotation from loading, unloading and the bumps on the roads the rubber layer will tear up and the bushing will be rendered useless. You will feel rattling and sounds and eventually you will need to replace them again. But if you do it in the right way, which is bringing the car to the ground with a loose bolt first, it will give the inner tube of the bushing some room to rotate with the control arm on the bolt and then you will tighten them at the right ride height. Which means now 98% of the time your new bushing won't have to deal with all those twisting forces that it's not designed to deal with. So that's it guys, now you know the reason behind doing this. See you next time.